6,000. This is 600. This is 600, like, but this is 6,000 pounds. Love themselves. That is fine. Nudity is beautiful. It is so beautiful. But hi, everyone. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Now, just an illustration. You know, when I was in junior high school, a teacher comes forward in the class or somewhere, assembly ground class, and he, he or she will go like, all those who are owing school fees move here. All those who are not owing move here. <laughs> so permit me to use this. All those who are subscribed to my channel, please move here. All those who have not subscribed to my channel, please move here. Now to all those who have subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. God bless you. You know, I'm so happy you did and thank you. I really appreciate it. Please get back on board. Those who haven't subscribed, what seems to be the problem? See eh? I beg you, um, I want your assistant, I want you to help me, I want you to encourage me by subscribing to this channel, by liking this video, by commenting, by sharing, you know, help me grow this channel, okay? And I know this video uploaded a bit late, I will tell you what happened at the latter part <laughs> of this video, what happened? Some serious thing, eh? So please stay tuned and let's get into it. This is about nudity. Nudity. The beautiful nudity. Let me just go straight to the point. So this happened two years ago, I believe, when a friend of mine called, a male friend of mine called, I know him to be very rich, you know. So he called me one late afternoon and he asked me to write down my needs. I was like, wow. This is God sent, you know. I should just write down my needs. Okay, that's cool. So I wrote my needs down and he called back and he asked me that. What if he gives me an amount of money that will help me, you know, solve most of my needs? And I was like, huh? God will bless, God will bless you, eh? If God has not blessed you, <laughs> I was so excited about it. I'm like, you just want to give me money just to solve. Wow, that's really cool. So then he told me the amount he wanted to give me, which was, I think then, 6,000 pounds. And I'm like, like, what is happening? 6,000 pounds? I know that is not a lot of money for some of us but to me it was money it was a lot of money i'm telling you i was so excited about it i'm like what okay so then the next stage was but first you had to convince me you know think about your family what you can do with this money and all that i was in fact i'm excited already don't even talk too much and i'm gonna get the money in less than one week in fact two days he said <clears throat> two days i was like what Sweetheart, I would do like send me the money, you know. And <laughs> apparently there was a condition attached to it, and obviously, yeah. And the condition was he needs a picture of mine, a nice picture I have, and he will send me the money. When he gets a picture today, within two days he will send me the money. And I was I was like, oh, I didn't know I was pretty enough for someone to want my picture for six thousand pounds. God. Hmm. Now, before you go about thanking God for miracles He has not invented yet, be careful who you are listening to. Be careful what is in the container. Like watch before, because I was excited thanking God about to even give a testimony, but this was it. I had to think twice. In as much as you want the money, think about it. So he contacted me telling me he wants my picture and all that. And I was like, okay, what kind of picture do you want? He said, I should just take a nice picture for him right now. When he said that, eh? <laughs> let me show you what I did. I was just excited. Like I was happy. I was looking for a dress to wear. And I remember I had this nice cover and slit, eh? It was, I think it was a new material I had sewn. So I wanted to wear that one, you know, show him some kaba crutch. I don't know how. <laughs> I'll just give him some kaba style. So 
I wore this cabas and then I was just posing for the picture. Like posing six thousand Ghana no six thousand pounds pose. Oh, that's Ghana. Six thousand pounds posing like six thousand. This is six hundred. This is six hundred like but this is six thousand pounds. <laughs> I was just, I was just posing for real, and so I called him when I had taken about two pictures with two different carbine kaba, slates. The, okay, so that is carbine slates. So I called him and I'm like, okay, I'm done. Try to send a picture to him, and um, I took, and he was like. What did I take? I told I told you I took um, a picture of me wearing a carbine slit. What? Carbine slit? Are you serious? Oh my! The guy got furious. Oh, I'm like, what's up? You told me a nice picture, so I decided to give you some carbine slits, you know, pose. Long story short. This guy actually wanted a nude picture. Hey, let me tell you something. Me, I don't wear jeans, string and stuff. For. <laughs> don't bring yourself car. Bitch car, me call to me car. I wear boxer shorts. What is what? Lingerie. He asked me to wear <laughs> he asked me to wear one hot nice panty and a bra. For what? Like can you be specific? Tell me what this picture is going to show you. Like, before he told me everything about this old man who, you know, stuff, stuff like that. Those who have friends, you know what, what they are into. And I was like, wow. And you have made me write down my needs. I see they are coming to fulfill them. And you've made me calculate what I will give to my mother, what I will do to... Ah! Hmm. Oh! Even if I, I need ten thousand pounds every day, I can't do that. I can't do that. And I'm here to encourage every one of you. I know you be life will be throwing things at you. You have responsibilities, you have needs and all that. But the Bible says that our bodies are the temple of God. And so we should be careful how we go about it. And I know nudity is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. I'm saying this because a lot of people told me that. Like, you know, they just have fun, funny fantasies. So I will encourage you, if you want to go nude, stand in front of a mirror, check yourself, and then, you know, and go take your bath or go sleep. But don't go to the extent of even taking your nude pictures or video on your own phone. You may never know what will happen. You can say, okay, let me take the, the picture and I'll delete it. No. It doesn't work. In fact, what are you admiring about yourself? What? Life is a spiritual thing. Life is very spiritual. So we should not deceive ourselves as Christians. Also, we should value spirituality more than money. Value God more than money. Because if you know what is in God, then you will not even chase after money. If you're out there and your videos have gone out, I'm so sorry. And this is a mistake maybe the world will not forgive you for, but God will forgive you for it. I'm saying this because there is this teenage girl I know who all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. She took pictures and videos of herself and this was last year she did that. And it came viral and it tarnished her. She's broken, she's, she's gone into depression and all that. And I wouldn't want any of us to fall into that. Please. I hope you have enjoyed my nudity story. <laughs> I didn't send a picture I didn't send it. Five thousand pounds on fa you take it because I cannot afford to risk my respect, my future, my dignity. Any guy who needs my nude picture should wait. You I'm worth the wait. So wait for me. Let's let's get married and you get to have it. Any guy who wants to you know, be with you, marry you, tells you he loves you and wants your nude pictures, let a person wait. Remember you have a God who is a king. Remember you are worth the wait. Remember you have a, yourself like 
you have some self-respect and remember anything can happen in the near future you would you may become the president uh, the a very important person an influencer and this is the, what is going to be used against you so let's keep ourselves for god in the container let us not awaken love until it's time thank you so much and before you leave watch what happened to me this afternoon why <laughs> why i uploaded this video so late let's let's just watch something very short and don't forget to subscribe comment like and share i have to struggle with the sun like and i love this dress damn i love it look 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 Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, kindly comment, and if you haven't subscribed, do well to subscribe. I just woke up. <clears throat> In earlier, I was I was telling God, I don't know, I'm feeling some way. B, my body is doing something. It's, it's doing me like something. <laughs> And then I took my phone and I was going to before I realized I I'm, I'm now waking up actually. And I'm like, God, why did you make me sleep? And I felt something ask, what were you about to do on your phone? What? Sleep. Question to you is, what do you feed your spirit? What, what do you feed your, your body, your mind, your soul? What do you feed yourself with? When you're feeling some way, be like the way I, I was feeling some way, be you have to sleep if you can. If you can't, do your best to walk away. Like, discipline yourself enough, okay? All right. I'm here to shoot my video for today, so please stay tuned. Thanks.